Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Container security company Armo is warning of a uh, vulnerability in Caverno. Caverno is what's often called an admission controller for uh, Kubernetes. And what essentially does is it checks if a particular image that you're loading in your Kubernetes cluster is safe to run. So the basic workflow with this admission controller is that if Kubernetes is being asked to run a particular workload, the admission controller is asked to verify if the workload is safe to run. In order to do this, the admission controller will go to the container registry, retrieve the payload, and then basically check the signature workout and is it safe? Well, and then it basically gives the okay to Kubernetes to download that image. The problem here is that one of the scenarios is that an attacker actually is controlling uh, this uh, registry, which, well, is one of the reasons why we want something like an admission controller. And if an attacker is in charge and controlling uh, the registry, well, they could very well provide one image to the admission controller and then a different image to Kubernetes to actually run. The fix switch has been deployed already by Caverno in version 183. It does make sure that the hash of the image that was verified is the same as the hash of the image that actually was retrieved by Kubernetes. So that way the attacker can't swap out these images. And the CVE assigned to this vulnerability is 2022-47633. And a security researcher found an interesting vulnerability in Google's smart speaker, uh, Google Home. The problem here was that uh, you're able to link a new uh, Google account uh, to a smart speaker without any real authentication. All that's really required is the ability to connect via the network uh, to the, har the speaker, which usually means that you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. There are also some scenarios where, for example, a malicious uh, Android app could perform uh, this uh, linking uh, process. Once uh, the additional account is linked to the Google Home smart speaker, the attacker would have full control over the device. They could send arbitrary HTTP requests to the local network. They could also, for example, uh, turn on the microphone in the speaker and use the speaker as a wiretap device. Interesting uh, flaw and Google has addressed it and also rewarded a nice bug bounty to the researcher finding this vulnerability. And if you're still using 3G for any kind of wireless devices, then well, a time is up. Verizon did notify customers that it's now finally discontinuing its 3G service. They originally announced it for end of the year, so end of 2022. And I guess you know, they're now uh, sort of uh, cleaning up and are removing the last remnants of their old CDMA uh, 3G network. Where this may matter is uh, for for example, some GPS locators, they use a 3G, maybe even 2G, of course, then they have long been dead. Also, for example, if you still have any time servers that use the CDMA network for time synchronization, that may no longer work for you. The only solution here is to upgrade to 4G. Other providers like uh, T-Mobile and AT&T already discontinued uh, their 3G service, I think uh, sometime uh, mid last year. And we got an interesting new way to eavesdrop on phone calls. Uh, the trick here is that the speakers in some modern uh, cell phones are rather large. And uh, as such, they're actually introducing some reasonable large vibrations to the device itself that uh, can be picked up with uh, tilt and other uh, motion sensors that you typically find in the device. Now, the resolution of uh, 
these sensors is a little bit limited and of course the speakers in smartphones are typically not very large but apparently uh, recently some uh, phones were released with large enough speakers to make detection of speech rather uh, feasible and uh, this has been demonstrated now by some researchers of course we'll have to see if this is a practical application as well but uh, they at least uh, are able to, for example, identify the gender and the identity of the speaker. And in some cases, they were able to also get a pretty good reproduction of the speech. And remember, it's Tuesday, which means uh, Packet Tuesday. The new Packet Tuesday video should be released uh, somewhere before noon Eastern time. And of course, will also be featured at the PacketTuesday.com website. Thanks for listening and uh, talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.